Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello? Yay. Yay! Oh my goodness. speed device. This is not good news. There it goes. This is a little voice recorder. <coughs> Here's the ISD chip. Very nice little device. Very fun indeed. The LED is simply monitoring the end of memory. You can record for the full length of the recording. And as you keep recording, once you reach the end of the memory, the LED will turn off. The other LED will turn on because I just inverted them. That's to show you that you've used up all memory. You can record for the full length of the recording. And as you keep recording, once you reach the end of the memory, the LED will turn off. The other LED will turn on because I just inverted them. And then notice afterwards, the idea is that now the light has gone out on the record button to show that if you try recording, it won't do anything. You can record for the full length of the recording. And as you keep recording, once to you reset reach it, it, you can record. Do that. Now it's been reset. Now it's been reset. You just hold down record and press play. Hello. I said 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 I said hello. Yo. Whoa! And as you keep recording, once you reach the end of the memory, the LED will turn off. The other LED will turn on because I just inverted them. Ooh! I said hello! I said hello! That's the full length of the recording. Ooh. And as you... Hello! Hello! Hey! Hey! Yo. 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 Uh. Yo, bro, huh? Yo, bro, huh? Pretty fun, am I right? Okay, I put a little 7805 5 volt regulator. So I can run this off of a 9 volt battery. I have the little pot installed and the little on off switch. And I glued on a battery holder for a 9 volt battery. So I can have my little device and one little module and one little set. And there's the circuitry. Put the circuitry there. A fun little project. The device is now inside an enclosure. Mm. Pretty fun, am I right? Original circuit boards out of the device are right here. See where I took the buttons off. I even used a couple of the original electrolytics. Hello? Check 
Yes, sir. Hello? Or condenser. And as you keep recording, once you reach the end of the memory, the LED will turn off. The other LED will turn on because I just inverted them. Hello? Hello? That was different. That was different. That was different. This is a lower sampling rate. This is a lower sampling rate. This is a lower sampling rate. playback circuit off the um, application information for the chip itself from the internet but instead of interfacing it like this I interfaced it like this except this resistor does not go to plus there's a 47k here to ground which I had to correct on the circuit board because I made a mistake copying the schematic down from my breadboard, so yeah. Yeah. It seems a bit odd, and I did have a capacitor to ground here at one point to provide a slight delay between these two, because you technically need to put play slash record low before you do the chip enable. Just a tad bit before. Otherwise, it will just play. The device is complete. Originally, this the Vidavi Communication Systems Surplus Phone or Star Plus Phone Box, hearing aid compatible, made in the Republic of Korea. But now it's my digital. Well, it's not digital. It's my chip voice recorder. They might be wondering, you saying, well, it's not digital. What do you mean? It's a chip. We got digital logic. We got a 7555. Higher frequency than normal 555. You're being used as a clock. What do you mean the thing's not blooming digital? These ISD speech chips record sound on to analog double E prom cells. You can actually store varying amounts of charge per bit. Instead of using it in the traditional way with a threshold to detect a zero or a one, they're using it in a direct way to store voltage values. But it still has a sampling rate, just like digital recording. The default sampling rate's 8 kilohertz when you use an internal clock. But using an external clock, I can vary the sampling rate from, I don't know what the frequencies are, I haven't checked, but pretty slow with lots of aliasing to a little bit faster than it normally goes, but it has built-in filters. So when you make it faster than the regular 8 kilohertz, it still sounds the same as it would with 8 kilohertz. Uh, but it's neat to see the circuit board. And I added this regulator. Of course, I probably said all the, a lot of this stuff already because I had sh shot earlier parts of this video on a different day. This is just my wrap up here, showing it as a complete unit. And if you ran to the end of the memory, you can do one of two things. 
You can either turn it off and on again to reset it, or you can hold down the record button while pressing play, and it will reset it like that. Then you can record. Then you can record. And it will do that. Hello, 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 yay, bro! Hello, 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 yay, bro! This gets very sensitive. This gets very sensitive. Now, you can make it play throughout more of the memory if while playing you hold down record. Now, it's the way it's designed, though, and it's the way I did the circuitry that makes it do things like this. Because normally you have a separate switch to switch between play and record mode, then you have a chip enable and you have a power down. Some of my friends playing a card game. And I recorded the, them playing the game. This is pretty fun, am I right? This is pretty fun, am I right? This is pretty fun. Let's get some aliasing going on this jig. Let's get some aliasing going on this jig. Mm. Now the lowest sampling rate it will do. Yeah, so much aliasing now you don't know what to do with it. Yeah, so much aliasing now you don't know what to do with it. And then we play it all the way at the max. Hello, this is a recording. This thing is fun. Hello, this is a recording. This thing is fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay. I blew down my cans by accident. This one landed right side up. And that one landed like that. I use these cans as miniature trash bins for Q-tips mainly and other small objects. Because you know, I could do one of two things. I could either stay at my workbench, conveniently putting it right there, or I could get up out of my seat and wander all the way over to the trash can. Now, which do you think I would rather do? A bit old viewers, a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Decade. This has been a Cassette Master production.